Ruby 65. Like it, the bottom hull needs cleaning and anti fouling, probably. It's probably been a while. It looks like uh, maybe three months. The hull seems okay. I mean, of course, uh, polishing would look, make it look shinier, but, but otherwise, uh, there's no uh, kind of. Uh, evidence of any scratches anything major swim platform teak the teak oil is worn out but the teak is in a good condition seems like it's thick um, it's definitely uh, has been uh, reclocked at some point of its life this uh, little bit might need reclocking um, Overall, the teak is requires some. I mean, it's it's not bad. It's it's better than a lot of boats, uh, but it it will need a little bit of sanding and re-oiling. And some parts of it needs a little bit of clocking. Very nice fabric. Interior. Switches, oh yeah, yeah. yeah the switches for the it's on everything, whatever we can find. Okay, well it's it's quite bright outside so you can't really see the difference. Um okay. Uh the main part of the wood which is always whitened is this part because it's exposed to the sunlight from the cockpit and that looks pretty good to me so um if you have seen some other videos of mine you can see in a lot of uh, uh italian boats you have this uh wood uh, the, the basically the the polish of the wood uh, uh reacts with the uv rays on the light and it becomes milky it becomes white um, so, so that that happens to a lot of polished wood, especially this. Absolutely, I, I, I would, I would believe it's the original, original uh, wood from the factory. So, so you can see the quality. It's it's not bad. The sofas, original, uh, not the color of my liking, but uh, condition for the age, not much wear and tear. Huh? So it's it's uh, okay. I think at some point uh, this boat should have been uh, kind of uh, not totally redone but but it's it looks like it has constant work on it uh, so uh, like, like they, they put a new TV on you know uh, cabinets 
Here you go. And this roof, I'm sure, is original. Uh, it has to be because nowhere in Hong Kong they are going to be able to make a, a roof with this design. It's what what the shipyards here do is just uh, have a flat vinyl panel. Uh, that's the most they can do, I think. Uh, so unless somebody wants to pay a million dollars for making a roof here, it's crazy expensive. Uh, unreasonable labor costs. Um, yep. Things look original like this. Sofas and wood. Carpets. Uh, let's see what's under the carpet. Uh, it's stuck. So it's... Uh, so, oh no. So basically yeah, there's timber and there is this soft, soft panel. Soft... Uh, material in between the timber and the carpet so it's actually fully carpeted uh, the reason i check because sometimes there is a timber floor underneath uh, this is an old model fridge you can see still some drinks inside it's working um yeah uh, let's see okay he probably needs to put the pumps on um nice nice wine glass storage uh, depends on how the waves are <laughs> okay so this boat has a lower helm which is small but hey it's really workable so again the, the vinyl or is it leather i think it's vinyl a uh, very very good quality yeah uh, just smelled it uh, to see if it's leather. Um, see. Old style starting of the engines. Uh, thousand one hundred and eight hours. Thousand is it one one two something? So thousand one hundred and twenty something hours on the engine. Okay. Uh, here we go here cool all the panels straightforward huh? they had in, in they still didn't try to hide things at uh, that time of manufacturing I think it was pretty nice okay, all the lights are on uh, interior okay this is basically a forward cabin which can be a seating space or a bed with a filler cushion uh, <clears throat> okay i mean not bad for the age of the boat uh, color is something you see the tv is still the old one in here i would obviously want to remove it make it into a cabinet and put a flat screen or not i don't think you really need a tv Toilet has been. I'll check if it needs some repair or something. But yeah. Uh, uh, okay. This is wood. Wood, wood, wood. And a shower. And a shower floor here. Um, yeah, well. Uh, okay, there is a shower. It's supposed to be a curtain behind. So yeah. You, you basically put the curtain around to protect the water from getting out of out in the cabin uh, when you close and then yeah, that's how you take a shower here yeah it's good uh, i mean that's one thing about taiwanese boat that that uh, uh, toilets have uh, toilets have more wood than i than i would prefer like this toilet has a uh, has a, a lot of fiberglass walls, fiberglass paneling around the walls. Let me check for. Ah, yeah. Yeah, here we go. So this toilet you can see. Uh, yeah, like like that's right. You know, you, you want to have fiberglass. Fiberglass just seems waterproof. That's all. In, if I have wood, 
I mean, if I'm not always taking a shower every day, then yeah, but, but uh, something like this is like every day. A robust kind of use. So, so that's what we want. Okay. Uh, as for storage in the room, let's see. I find this. Okay, underneath is uh, quite empty. It's like a table. So, so either there is a table which you, which can go up and down, uh, or it becomes a bed. So when it's up, it becomes a bed. Other than that, there's this huge, not really huge, but uh, the door is big. Uh, storage cabinet in the toilet. I didn't see much storage over here under. Yeah, just under the sink. Okay, cool. And any wardrobe? Nope. one cabin uh okay here is a guest cabin with a single bed uh which is not a bunk bed yeah okay nice no. I, I am inside the cabins mm -hmm. Use a storage. Okay. Uh, master cabin. Yeah, a lot of storage here. Looks like for the beds. Uh, drawers. Yeah, the four drawers. Some WD forty here, man. For sure. Yep. yep. Did. Yep. Uh, bed. Quite big. Uh, another wardrobe, dressing table, all that lamps uh, old old tv old music system again uh, these need to be taken off converted into a drawer put a flat screen that's the first thing you should do okay looks like there's a hatch underneath it which probably needs some kind of a looking after okay what is it inside ah, this little thing okay Probably access to one of the pumps. Okay. Nice toilet. Looks like they're not using the toilets. This is beautiful. Uh, now this is marble. Yep. I mean, what is it called? Is it real marble or that other thing? Uh, but uh, yeah, nice. The space is very fly bridge. Let's go to the fly bridge. Always good. Uh, these uh, these things seems like they've been replaced. If they're original, I'd be very surprised with the condition. Uh, they're pretty nice. Uh, I, I, if, if they are original, then I think. Uh, it would be a better option to have fabric rather than vinyl. Nautical structures. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Capacity, I can't see it right now, but this looks like quite major. Okay. Some label somewhere. Oh, 1,000 pounds capacity.
old style radar systems that need to be replaced screen can yeah just a new screen will work or you have to replace the whole system uh. what is this oh, oh a barbecue wow. grill let, let me hold it let me hold it surprised thanks Looks like electric, I hope. Yeah, cool. Looks nice. Uh, access to the engine room is from the transom which is back of the boat shower head all brittle needs to change uh, i mean this is just because of the sun uh, constantly exposing on it uh, it will become brittle uh, again the wood is in good condition that's great uh, i mean the thing is um, if you see wood in good condition that means the boat has no leaks okay and this boat being as old as it is is uh, uh you know uh it, it, that means it's built quite well without any leaks and it doesn't have uh you know rainwater seeping in and it, it's been through so many typhoons and still in good condition uh, anyways this is a galley galley aft galley which is quite common now out here in Hong Kong and Asia people like a uh, galley being separated from the living area uh, crew cabins uh, two two bunks yeah uh, yep and uh, nice uh, fridge storage storage good floor Yep. And this is an engine room door which is really nice. The mirror, oh cool. Nice, nice, nice. It's uh, there's a difference between noise uh, when you open the door, so it's good insulation. Um nice, good looks like it's in good condition. Not bad, not worn out. Uh, okay. are on generator uh, how many kilowatts is this kva uh, this looks like 6.5 kilowatts so there has to be two generators yep and 1800 hours 600 hours Ah, this looks like 20 kilowatts. I think they have two, right? Yeah, two generators. One is 20, one is 6.5. Um, um, marine air systems. I wouldn't worry about the BTU. It's for the hot con man engines. Okay. Um, it's 
1,200. Yep, 1,200 each. Yeah. yeah. 1,200 horsepower each. Uh, very nice. Uh, okay. Condition is all right. Your filters, marine air, firefighting, uh, looks like the automated system. Uh, like, uh, Aircon seems like working. Rever reverse cycle aircon, so hot and cold. 16,000 BTU, 24,000 BTU. Plus 24,000 BTU, 24, 24, uh, plus 16, whatever that is, it's, it's pretty hot. stairs access to the yep hydraulics and the stern gear side decks now what's up with the floor um you can see a little bit of a uh, uh, this chipped uh, uh, paint layer, uh, or should we call it a gel coat layer? Huh? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it looks nothing out of ordinary. A uh, little, little chipped up stuff here and there when, when some debris are flying around. Uh, looks like the wind, the windshield cleaner. Uh, that needs to be either replaced or added or. Yeah, that needs to be looked at. I can't see one. Uh, yeah, anchor with the windless foot controls. Cool. Uh, uh, all these things need to be checked. Looks like uh, they should work. They're pretty sturdy things. And these kind of things are built to last. Uh, so yeah, of course, uh, I would recommend a survey sea trial. Uh, everything should reflect uh, the condition which is not bad for its age it's a 1998 built boat uh, this one so um, so yeah it's, it's priced for what it is and uh, yeah uh, interior is beautiful uh, machinery seems okay to me uh, something like engine generator uh, uh, air conditioning uh, those major things uh, structure of the hull uh, seems solid 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 because rubies actually were made better in the 1990s than uh, uh sorry uh i take it back rubies are always uh, rubies always make the hulls thick and strong is the european boats that used to be better in the 1990s than after year 2000 because they started mass producing them uh, and and uh, yeah and, and just uh, trying to make it thinner lighter uh, faster but uh, it, it wasn't strong it's not strong so uh, so yeah these boats are strong structurally much more sound <laughs> 